All right, a 2007 E63 AMG Mercedes. It's a Merc, guys. And the original MSRP on this car was $83,000, and for good reason. It had a 6.2 liter V8 that made, oh, 507 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. That's, that's a bunch. There's a reason that it costs that much. But the thing that's even more bonkers is the fact that we found one for 12 grand and Kelly Blue Book only values them between 10 and $13,000. What? What's going on there? It is a 2008 Audi S5. It was originally equipped with a 4.2 liter V8 that made 350, 355 horsepower. It's not shabby, especially considering the car only weighs 4,000 pounds. It got 19 miles per gallon, whether you got it in an automatic or a manual transmission. And I don't have to emphasize manual transmissions. Just get the manual. So 19 miles per gallon combined is awesome. And the original MSRP was 52 grand. So it wasn't up there with the Maserati or these Mercedes or the Range Rover even, but it has depreciated a little bit. Kelly Blue Book puts it between 10 and $13,000, and we found one for 16 grand, which, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good deal for all the stuff that you get with this car. And it has a top speed of 155, which they, all these things have a top speed of 155 because they're limited, but what do you do? Go and have it tuned and have a top speed of 100 million miles per hour. 2008 BMW M3, or E92 for some gearheads that know what those designations mean. We found one on Craigslist for $19,000. It's less than 20 grand. The original MSRP of this car was $60,000, so $40,000 less than they were brand new, and they're not that old. With a 414 horsepower V8 revving to 8,400 RPMs. On the list of eight that I have, that's the highest revving engine, and it's a V8. Naturally aspirated, no turbo, no supercharger. It is pretty fantastic. With a top speed limited to 155 miles per hour, and the car weighs in at 3,700 pounds, which makes it a lightweight when it comes to luxury and sport. And it gets 17 miles per gallon combined highway and in town. All right, so my number seven on the list is going to be the Porsche Macan. This MSRP is for $50,900. And so it's not that expensive considering it's a Porsche, but still, you can actually get them used now for under $25,000. That is awesome. That is less than a Honda CRV or a Toyota RAV4 for a serious performance SUV. Powering this beast is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, 248 horsepower, 273 pound feet of torque, sent to all four wheels through Porsche's legendary PDK transmission. And for anybody not familiar with that transmission, that is essentially the benchmark for all other transmissions out there. When the new Ford Mustang just recently came out in 2018, they compared it to Porsche's PDK transmissions. That is the one to beat really. Zero to 60 time for the Macan comes in at 6.3 seconds. And of course, with it wearing the Porsche crest, it represents a brilliant racing history. And of course it does look like a Porsche, just in SUV form so instantly people are going to think this Macan is well more expensive than what you possibly would get it for. Number six on my list is going to be the C7 Chevy Corvette and so this includes years from 2014 to 2019. Originally MSRPing I should say a starting price of $55,900 because of course with options they were well known to go up well above that. Used you can now get them from $30,000 right around that $30,000 thousand dollar mark which is great that's actually less than what i paid for my ford mustang gt so that is brilliant powering this thing is a 6.2 liter naturally aspirated v8 460 horsepower 465 pound feet of torque sent to the rear wheels sending you to 60 in approximately 3.7 seconds this is a great looking legendary sports car of course the c8 looks even better of course in my opinion at least i think everyone will agree I cannot wait for the C8 Corvette prices to drop, but for now, that C7 Corvette for $30,000, when you have the Z06 going for over $100,000, definitely a steal at $30,000, and people are going to think that is a very expensive car. And so number five on my list being the Chrysler 300, although it's not as exciting as some of the other cars on the list, 
It's not going to trick any car enthusiasts either, but it does look kind of like a Bentley or Rolls Royce or perhaps both of them having a baby perhaps. So the Chrysler 300 is priced at $29,470, however, you can find them now used for around $3,000 or really under $3,000. And yes, they're not known for being the most reliable vehicles in the world. Powering the 300 is going to be a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6 this is the base engine, of course, 292 horsepower, 260 pound feet of torque, zero to 60, approximately 6.3 seconds, top speed, 155 miles per hour, sent to the rear wheels, approximately 30 miles per gallon on the highway though. It's pretty impressive considering the size of this boat really it's a boat and again for car enthusiasts this isn't going to trick anybody but for somebody not into cars that front end looks straight up like a bentley without a doubt number four on my list is going to be the new genesis g70 and so again for car enthusiasts you know about this car already but interesting thing is the front end or really the whole vehicle itself is designed like a very upscale car and really it is but yet it's almost cheap or inexpensive for what it really is and so part of that design language is due in part because the former head designer for bentley is now the lead designer for genesis and so this genesis g70 is priced from thirty-five thousand four hundred and fifty dollars essentially a top-end Honda Accord really. It was first introduced as a 2019 model and you can now get them used already at just a flat $30,000 if you wanted to. So a couple different engine configurations for the G70. There is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder that is gonna put out 252 horsepower, 260 pound feet of torque. There's also a 3.3 liter twin turbo V6. That is going to be of course a little bit more expensive and kind of defeat the purpose of this video, but it's there for you if you wanted it. But overall, again, the designer worked for Bentley and the logo looks a lot like Bentley. Maybe he had some influence in that, but overall the G70 is still a relatively inexpensive luxury car that looks a lot more expensive than it actually is. Number three on my list is an easy one. This is going to be the Maserati Ghibli. Starting price coming in at $70,990 and one of the most depreciated cars out there in history, I feel like. You can now get these used for around $20,000 and even under $20,000, a Maserati, a Maserati Ghibli. It's an amazing looking car. The badge itself gives you an indication right off the bat. It is an expensive car unless you get it pre-owned, of course. And we all know the elephant in the room when it comes to any Maserati really is going to be maintenance costs. For example, just about all of the engines found in any Maserati vehicle is Ferrari derived. So Ferrari is building engines for Maserati. Therefore, if something breaks, you are essentially repairing a Ferrari based engine. For example, in this one, in the Ghibli, it's a three liter twin turbo V6 built in Maranello, Italy, 345 horsepower, 369 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 time, 5.5 seconds with 166 mile per hour top speed. And again, the badge alone says it all. If you can deal with the maintenance cost, you can get in a Maserati for less than $20,000 and a relatively new Maserati Ghibli at that. Then coming into number two on my list, the BMW X1. And obviously any BMW, when people see that badge, they're going to think it is an expensive car regardless of which car it actually is. The X1 is essentially a crossover or a small SUV by BMW. Actually has a starting price, kind of like the Genesis G70 coming in at $35,200. You can get one used for around $20,000, even really the price of a Civic now. Two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder powers the little beast. 228 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque. Zero to 60 comes in at 6.6 .6 seconds. Power can be sent to front wheels or all wheels, your option there. You can get actually up to 33 miles per gallon on the X1 as well. So all in all, it's a pretty inexpensive, dare I say cheap SUV by BMW and still one that is going to look a lot more expensive than you actually end up paying for it. But so now let me get to my number one on this list, the Mercedes-Benz A220. And so this is another fun one, kind of like the Genesis G70, kind of like the BMW X1. It's an entry level vehicle into the luxury world, really. The A220 is relatively new for Mercedes-Benz as well. And the badge alone, once again, is going to fool everybody because they have no idea if this is an expensive car or an inexpensive car, because if you slap on an AMG badge on this A-Series, then you can do that. You're up to $50,000 already, not including any of the millions of options I feel like 
like Mercedes-Benz always offers. And overall, this particular car is a smart move by Mercedes-Benz because once you're in it, next car you're thinking maybe you want to upgrade to a C-Class or at least a CLA. But nonetheless, starting price on the A220 is $32,800 for a brand new Mercedes-Benz. That's crazy. And you can already find them used for around $25,000 or less. Powering the A220 is a 2-liter turbocharged inline 4-cylinder, 188 horsepower, 221 pound-feet of torque, 0 to 60 in 7.1 seconds, sent to the front wheels, getting up to 35 miles per gallon in a Mercedes on the highway. That is pretty crazy, you guys. And again, those numbers themselves aren't really too incredibly impressive, honestly. You can get a Honda Civic that'll hit 60 in less than that, but again, it is a luxury car with a Mercedes-Benz badge, so when you're driving down the road, people aren't gonna know that you spent $25,000 on this Mercedes-Benz. They're gonna think you spent closer to at least $40,000 or $45,000, and that is why the Mercedes-Benz A220 is number one on my list. Thanks for watching.